Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. A kick is when the conduit is bent a little bit to get past an obstacle after another bend, such as a 90, has been made. For example, if we have a 90 and we need to raise it up to another surface, we need to make a kick. First, we need to measure the height, and in this case, it happens to be four inches. Then, what we want to do is put the pipe in the bender and bend this up so that this part of the pipe rests on our surface, and then we're going to change elevations and come up slowly to the new surface. So, what we're going to do now is put the pipe in the bender and make this bend. Now, you could use the bender formulas for this, or oftentimes it's not that critical, so you can kind of set your pipe in and make the bend where you've got enough room to make a, a bend that's not too tight. If you come too close to this when you make your bend, you're, it's going to be too tight and you're going to almost have a 90 degree angle there, which is what we want to avoid. So, oh, another trick I want to show you now on the measurement, I know that this is four inches, and I know that my tape is three and a half inches wide. So I'm just going to set it at half an inch, stick the end of my tape out. And I know that that's four inches. So I need to make my bend so that the bottom of my pipe is there. And that, that's just a, a pretty close estimate. And of course, I'm going to use my level to do this, finally. Now, another trick I want to show you. We'll place the end of the level under the end of the pipe. And when I put the pipe in the bender, this will actually hold this level. Because as you know by now, the bender raises the pipe off the floor when we start. So this will actually hold this part of my bend level to get started here. So I'm, I got a nice distance back. In this case, I'm about a, a foot away from uh, the end of the pipe. And that's about three times the height here, which is good for this uh, example. And again, after you have more practice, you'll be able to judge what you need. So I'm going to just bend this with some steady pressure. And I can see that the bottom of my conduit is pretty close to that, that uh, four inch. If I put that there and if I check with the level, OK, I see I need to. Uh, go up a little bit further. And once again, we're not going to get in a big hurry here. We're just going to make a nice bend here. OK, need some more. OK, I show that I'm, I'm pretty close, maybe just a little bit over. So I'm going to check it first, and then if I'm a little bit over, I'll take some out. Okay, so what I have here, I've got the pipe running flat, nice transition up to the new surface, and i got the pipe running flat on the new surface right at the edge. So. I wasn't a little bit over it. In this case, it, it turned out to be a nice bend and it worked out well for us. So again, this is something you have to get the feel for. And if I was a little bit over, let me show you the trick. If I wanted to take some out, I could just put the pipe down here and just push on this here like I'm giving it first day. Just give a little couple pushes down. And that's how you can take a little bit out of some EMT on a kick. So once again, we have a nice bend transitioning from one surface, kicking up to another elevation, and the pipe is running right on the edge here. Now, if this needed to be running at this part further back, we would have needed to make an offset to do this, which means we would have had to have another bend to raise to get to this point. But for a bend that's right on the edge, all we need to do is make a kick. Thank you for watching this video. 
please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.